Hello everyone, welcome to Bullet Steel, the latest version of it. So we're gonna run a quick uh, setup first. I'm going to go for the average AI. So as you can see, there's lots and lots of options. Um, as I mentioned, I think in my uh, overview of this mod as well. So we're going to go for Battle AI, Skynet AI, and this is a uh, Z. 3N. He's also done the Battle AI for Europa Barbarum, so pretty solid one, that one. Uh, enable real hiring of troops, we're going to go with that. This is when you need to uh, your cities to be of certain size by certain dates. Uh, Garrison, now this one I was of two opinions on. I had it initially enabled months ago when I was playing it. I didn't quite like what was happening with it, the dynamic. Uh, the units appearing, they don't have unit cards, it's just it was a bit a bit off, I don't remember what exactly it was. I'm gonna leave it unchecked for now. We're gonna go with hard economics, why not? Inflation script, this is deduction of the money, but this takes uh, yeah, four or five seconds to uh, process on uh, to AI turn time, so I don't want that, it's a bit too much for me. The loading times, the AI turn time, sorry, are quite long anyway even on SSD. So mercenaries, we're going to go, yeah, for the second one. Crusaders can be hired, it, although, although it would not concern us because when I, what I want to do uh, is go for the Byzantine campaign or Nicene campaign to be precise. Manuscript, yeah, we're going to go with this. If the treasury of the uh, faction uh, falls uh, a to a negative minus one, the script adds 5,000, so that's good enough. You can also choose music here, so I'm going to go for the Byzantine. European quotes, that's fine. Rebirth of that uh, factions, yes. If you want to pause it, guys, and read all of this, then you can just pause the video, see what it says. So this is version one, this is version two. I think I'm going to go with the first one here, okay? Uh, standard weather, now all of these are um, excellent add-on extra scripts. So uh, AI anti-wealth script, I think this is only targets AI when they go above half a million, so that's that's fine. Tree AI family tree help script will spawn a family member. Uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. If faction has a total of less seven generals, no, we don't want that. Close map, no. Alternative economy, okay. This one, BGR, is a, a must for me because that way, you you know, it adds a bit of a realism, a bit of a supply chain system, etc., etc. City content, I don't actually remember what that means. Deduction of money, ah, okay. Yeah, no, just, let's just leave it. We already have economic uh, script enabled somewhere. Complex control, console, disable fixed arrows. Now, I'm not sure about this. I will leave it on for now. I'm not sure. A historic chronicle, limited construction, yes please. Oh, what is this, historical characters? Historical characters that appear that, that, that in different factions on certain turns. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, ah, uh, one to four seconds it says. What does it say here? Where is it? Uh, one to four, okay, well, yeah, let's add it, that's okay. We'll see how that works. Limited construction, longer assimilation, military script for the AI, script gives some bonuses in form of experience. And uh, no, let's leave it for now. I don't want this uh, because of the, again, you know, some of it is just really, really punishing on the AI turn times. So we're gonna leave resistance, ta ta ta. What was the successor change script? Uh, you put one squad to the, oh yeah, this is kind of a, you know, ancillary you can transfer. Tithing, now this is not recommended uh, if you play as Mongols, oh sorry, as Byzantines or uh, as Papal States. So we're not going to do that. And look at the, it adds five to seven seconds to the script as well. We don't want watchtowers because I'm a watchtower Nazi. I like to do it myself. So let's apply all of that. There you are. Let's go for it. Let's close this window and let's launch it. So it's the final version, as you can see, says here. Yeah, it's called Byzantine Empire. It is no Byzantine Empire. It is actually Nicene Empire. So guys, you can pause the video as well and read the description here if you like. I'm going to scroll it, scroll it down till the end, and this just gives you a quick history. We're going to go for short campaign, including, so we need to call all of this Latium. Oh, wow, how is that short? Okay, that's fine. Seljuk, so we, I don't care about this. I'm just trying here to restore the Byzantine em Empire as it has existed uh, after 1261 recapture of Constantinople. 
So basically, the aim here is to recapture some of the European territories in Thrace and in Greece, and that's pretty much it. So just to restore the empire, drive the Turks if I can, and drive the Latins away. And this is our main goal here. Right, here we are. So it tells you uh, how can you open various guides by pressing F3. It tells you additional income, difficulty on hard, because we play on uh, hard hard. So they get uh, a bit more income, the AI morale, morale up to three, uh, stakes sometimes, uh, script, blah, blah, blah. So again, you can uh, read this. Uh, I'll just try and scroll it if you wanna, um, if you want to pause it and read about this. Ruler coronation script, generation gifting script, uh, the BGR2 script completion, system of ranks. So lots going on, garrison script. I don't, I don't think I've got that activated. Prices for resources, public order, how it actually works, uh, the golden horde invasion script. So all sorts of things that you want to familiarize yourself with if you're playing for the first time. New threat, that's about Mongols, that is great. So let's see where we start. are starting. Now we're at war with Venice and with the Seljuks as well. Now the problem with Byzantine Empire, so-called, so this guy has, yeah, claim to the throne. This gentleman is cowardly, is that what it said? Uh, yeah, okay, great. So yeah, I'm not going to bother, guys. I did not bother going into the game files. This starting position makes no sense whatsoever. So Empire of Trapezon was its own thing. Uh, you know, uh, Epirus was its own thing. So all of these entities in no way cooperated, let alone formed a single entity. So what I'm going to do, I'm playing as Nicaea and I did not want uh, to mess with the files. Oh, I don't have a, a good know-how to, how to do it either, to be honest with you. So we're going to go the old-fashioned way. We're going to create Nicaea as it was uh, around this time. We're going to do it by destroying and allowing our settlements to rebel wherever it's possible. And then we're going to be left, hopefully, with the core provinces in Asia Minor. And that's, that's that. And then from then on, we will be having like more or less historically accurate position. I will let these settlements rebel. I will disband everyone here. Where are the armies? So everyone will have to go, I'm afraid. And uh, with historical characters, they'll probably be sent on a suicide missions uh, somewhere, uh, as you would normally expect. So I'm going to increase taxes wherever and whenever I can. These guys, I'm going to just, uh, oops, I'm just going to, uh, dismiss them i'm going to disband all i can and all i'm going to keep are my provinces here in asia minor i'm going to do the same with the trebizon and let's just select and disband and let's destroy everything we can uh, get a bit of cash uh, injection and but again the starting position here makes no sense whatsoever uh, they were in conflict uh, in fact this empires uh, they were not a single entity by any stretch of imagination as far as i'm concerned anyway so what we have guys now we have left with two settlements one in smyrna one in nicaea and that's that so with this lot i'm going to send them on suicidal missions here and there and we will hopefully never hear from them again so i'm only going to be left with well i'm going to keep this uh, bishops and such there's one in nicaea as well i'm going to be using him as a bit of a spy here to see and uh, maybe a bit of a trading here opening trade, eh? opening trade so how much is that 15 only that's not much is it 11 how about this resource yes, that's even worse yes. okay though great yes, oh well and uh, let's just let's just leave him here for the time being 20 oh actually it's a bit better here yeah why don't you come yes. home okay so that's that spy one in bithynia okay uh, one in Macedonia. Okay, that's great. So I'm gonna bring them home. I'm gonna bring them. Oh, there you go, Adrianopolis. And uh, what else we've got here? Bishops, uh, merchant, diplomat. All right, diplomat is a good thing. I'm going to see if I can spy on anyone. Oh, let's find out what happens here at Abydos. It's also rebel control and it's also Latin control. So guys, all these areas: Constantinople, Adrianople. Uh, Abydos, they're all controlled by the Latins it seems uh, at this stage so we need to drive them away from here 
we need to deal with that so now as you can see I've only got two settlements again left and there was one, no, no, Crimea, we don't have anything, it seems. Okay, so these guys will need to vacate the premises. And I'm going to be, again, using them as a kamikaze of sorts. Uh, I want them to actually, you know, just, just die, die off. And um, we'll be left with whatever we have there uh, for the starting position. You have few generals there you can start with. And that will be that. We have some fleets as well. I'm going to bring them home perhaps. And I'm going to see if I can actually make use of them. How many fleets have we got? Let's check one. There's one here, one here. Okay, let's bring that one home as well. And uh, we actually haven't got a port. Oh, no, we do. We have one port here. Uh, what happened? Uh, okay. Yeah, one port in Smyrna. And Smyrna was actually occupied by the Turks as well. There was a pirate base there at some point. Alexis managed to deal with it. Alexis Kamnenes, that is. That is before this date, obviously. So where is our capital? Okay, capital is in, uh, at Nicaea, as you would expect. Let's bring this army back. This is a historical character, by the way, Fyodor Laskaris. So there's a huge biography here. Again, if you would like to read it, pause it and give it a go. Uh, one part and there is, where is the second part? Second part right here. So they decided probably just to copy paste the Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know, I'm joking. But I think this is a bit too much, right? For the game, I think you want the uh, descriptions to be a little bit more concise, you know, so... Um, just read it as you play you don't like actually you know have to spend half an hour reading it but it is what it is so if you do enjoy that sort of thing it's there for you to read there's another one here this one's got more manageable this is Andranik uh, Paleolog so you can have a pause again and have a read quickly this is all historical characters here that we start with now let's see if we can actually actually train anybody here oh we have already siege equipment available okay that's pretty generous and a merchant yeah i'm gonna go for the merchant let's see cavalry we might need one of the cow what what is the finance looking like oh look at that we're getting a huge hit to our finances so let's try and increase the taxation a little bit and i think so we're starting with two cities i think what we're going to have to do is to start building uh yeah let's build uh higher whatever we can hire uh, in our starting uh, positions uh, there you go so yeah what I was saying uh, you want to concentrate perhaps on economic buildings here so let's start with let's start with the uh, fields if I go with fields so yeah it gives us a bit of a boost here and admin oh, a tiny bit population growth as well so let's go with this here uh, in Smyrna and over here I wanted to there's paved roads and there is also safe trade routes. Okay, interesting. Let's see, what's the difference? So this gives you more, well, tiny bit more, tiny bit more of an income. Uh, how about Maritime Academy? Mm. Right, let's see, what about the port? Oh, fire thrower, okay. Flame thrower, sorry, let's see. Increases a uh, little bit, not much, not much. Uh, what else can we do here? Oh, mine! Right, mine. How about the mines? And this would give us additional 168. Yeah, let's go with the mine for now. I think we could really, really benefit. Now, there is lots and lots of buildings. As you can see, uh, Bulat still allows you for a massive construction projects. They range from one turn, really, really cheap ones, to five, seven turns. I don't think they actually fit in here. All of them in this panel, there is a limit to how many you can fit. Some of them, I think, become invisible, but you can still build them. I might be mistaken there, but I think this is what's going on here. From my experience so far, you can build to your heart's uh, content, but some of them will not be displayed and some effects uh, probably will be uh, taking place, but you can't see the buildings here. Okay, so five turns here and... <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> We're gonna need to move this guy out as well. Let's send him... And uh, we need to move this gentleman too. It's this. Some of them are also actually historical characters. You see, it's just that they don't really fit into what I think I'm I'm supposed to be doing here, which is reclaiming Constantinople, Constantinople, um, by you know using my faction Nicaea here as a vehicle for restoration. Okay, of restoration. 
So let's see what else. So we've done all of this. Diplomat, right, diplomat. Who do I want to actually send him to? We're at war with the Turks. Let's send them to the Venetians. They were at war with us. They're out here somewhere. Let's see if we can sort out relations with them. In the meantime, we have a problem. We have a raiding, massive raiding Turkish army. And this is going to be our first priority. We're going to try and drive them out. So let's see. Let's see if we can do that. I'm going to get all of my men out of the city. All of them. I don't have much of a choice now. I'm still outnumbered even when all of them are out. And... Ah, look, we have some of the core units from... Is this Varangians? Yeah, oh, wow. There's still Varangian guard around, which is good to see. So I'm going to get all of these guys out. And the first order of the day is to clear the area of this invading uh, army. All uh, right, that's fine. Relations worsen. Yeah, well, you bet. Let's get this job, job done. Oh, actually, they don't outnumber us by very much. Uh, they have lots of horse archers, yeah, yeah, some of them. Uh, skirmish cavalry, and they have a lot of experience, these guys, so full stack, but no general in sight. So let's get down to business here. We shall claim victory in God's name. Okay, here we are, the archers up front, and then we've got... Oh, the archers actually got mixed up a little bit, so I would need to perhaps straighten them out like so. All right, run for it. So we've got infantry line, beautifully looking units here, by the way, have a look. Some faces from Warband, as you can tell. Uh, so we've got, what have we got? We have some spearmen on the flanks, and they mixed up with some swordsmen. Spearmen again, swordsmen, and then spearmen, and there's a militia kind of spearmen here as well. Our second line is made of uh, heavy, uh, I think they're Varangians in the center. And then you've got heavy axemen on the flanks uh, over here. And then here up front we have another uh, unit of spearmen just to cover our flank in case. Our uh, bodyguards are here in the rear and our ca heavy cavalry is gathered here on the right flank. So let's see. And we actually are standing, we have a bit of an elevation going for us. What I'm going to try and do now, I'm going to ask all of the units actually apart from you two fellas to turn a little bit this way so there you go and in fact I'm going to ask you guys oh actually they're coming that's okay the Turks are coming the horsemen are coming I'm going to disable this for now and then we shall see what we can do so hopefully hopefully we will be able to repel I I could make use of more archers for sure I don't have any so this is literally my standing army I took it and I went with it but you know what let's actually advance because they have a lot of let's select all of these guys they have a lot of units of infantry down there so we're going to try and actually attack them before they decimate us with their arrows and yeah we're gonna go ahead and start this descent oh why is this enabled no I don't want this fire arrows makes no sense yeah uh, without fire please and you two fellas just don't bother just yeah try and shoot at them if you can so let's bring my cavalry to the flank here as well and the uh, bodyguard yeah bodyguard you just keep coming down as well so we're gonna drive this archers horse archers away hopefully and then engage their main battle line and try and see if we can actually overwhelm them oh look at that they are already forming in a circle and trying to do us damage uh, which is okay I don't have any cavalry by the way on this flank here at all so all of my cavalry is in reserve and some of them is here on the right flank okay so but uh, archers do the job we started to take some damage that's not looking very good uh, so why don't we uh, go a little bit further down and we can probably run for it as well I just want to engage their main battle line if I can uh, Yes, let's bring the generals a little bit closer as well. And yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Are they charging? No, they're not charging yet. Yeah, I'm not going to chase them. I'm going to try and defend my flank. Actually, they are charging. No, they're not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's bring you back. Let's bring you. Okay, so they are charging now. That's great. Right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What can we do? All right, attack. Attack. So we are charged now, which is fantastic everywhere everywhere we've been charged all right and where is our archer unit archers where are you 
Oh, they got caught up here in the... Yeah, we don't want that. Let's bring them here. Go. Okay, so my reserve units have come handy here. Very, very nice to see. This unit of archers, I'm going to bring you forward as well. I think I might need to send some support here. In my right, right flank is struggling a little bit, it seems. But that's okay. So let's charge. Uh, charge them. Charge whoever's in front of you. And have we repelled these units of horse archers? No, not yet. Okay, that's okay. Oh, there is someone coming. Who is this? Ooh, this is one of the elite units. I don't know, my spearmen will probably not be able to actually deal with them effectively. But I have general here as well. Yeah, let's give it a battle cry. And yeah, our units are struggling. One of the units has actually disintegrated, I think. One of these units of... Yeah, it's, it's gone. Okay, there it is. Okay, so my left flank actually not holding very well. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, go for it. Actually, start, start, start shooting here. And you fellas as well. So I'm waiting for this flank to actually do their job and then hopefully go for an outflanking maneuver. But we're not doing great here. There is a unit here uh, reduced to seven men and doesn't look very convincing to me. Units are, by the way, very, very beautiful, very col colorful and uh, good looking. Our heavy infantry is struggling here. I might need to pull more reserves here to this area on the left, actually. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. So everyone's engaged. Um, I'm going to actually ask my general bodyguard to try and charge down there as well. And we still have a unit here in reserve. Oof! Right, this does not look good. Yeah, go for it, go for it. They have 16 men left. They haven't routed yet that I'm surprised. Uh, why not? They should have been a goner by now, but okay. Right, so how are we doing here against this unit of um, Arab horses from Mountain Blade Warband? Are we okay? Go for it, nine men left in this Far East unit. Yeah, go. Right, so General got engaged. Uh, that's fantastic. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? We still... Oh yes, I brought this unit from reserve. I'm going to try and charge down this way. This unit of whatever they are. And is this our general? Okay, yeah, our general seem to... Oh, no, yes, let's charge these guys. Let's support these spearmen here. They're really, really struggling, it seems to me. And, ah, uh, yeah. Varangians, can you can you catch up with this unit or not really? No, not really. Okay, well, that's okay, I guess. Uh, let's redirect one of my family members here. They're charging us into the... Ah, uh, this is not good. I hope it's not going to cause chain route no because I have I actually have quite solid units here which is fine yeah they should be able to do the job in fact we're doing okay because our left wing managed now let's bring the general back yeah left wing managed to route the opposing uh, Turkish wing and now we're doing great here we're going to try to capitalize on this route okay let's attack these guys and we have a couple more units of cavalry and we're going to attack their archers and then try and envelop them. Uh, what's happening here? The battle is in our favor. Yeah, look how beautiful these units are. Colorful and absolutely high uh, textures and all high quality of everything. Uh, right, are we? Yeah, we're almost driven them. Who's died? Decent death. Is that noble death? Prince! Ah! Right, our prince has died, it seems it's this guy, I think. I don't know, we shall see. But, 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 we are actually managing to hold the line. Yeah, doing okay. Archers, let's bring him around. Let's smash into the rear. Where is our faction leader? Our uh, faction leader done his job, he's driven them from the field. And now he's chasing. Uh, where it is he's chasing? Right, spearman this way. Archers, 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 why don't you fire at these guys here? Yes, please. And yeah, spearmen attack these guys. So we doing okay? Let's, uh, yeah, let's go this way now. We actually have spare units now. Yeah, let's support the center. Who is this? Uh, no, this is our man. Are we? Okay, actually, someone's still engaged. Oh, someone's just ran out into the field. So, let's bring our cavalry. These guys are just standing here doing nothing. 
Oh yeah, there's this unit we want to decimate. And archers are still doing their uh, job, which is good. Now, let's see. Archers, archers, archers. Who can you target? Target these guys as well. Actually, I'll put you on guard mode because I don't want you to, you know, run off into the field too much. Yeah, let's attack. Where did you go? Where'd you go? Ah, he's fled. They don't actually have general, they have the captain. Yes, his heroic victory, however, <laughs> we almost lost 45% uh, of our troops, so almost half of the um, army. Look at that. Uh, which is, uh, you know, I guess not too bad. So, uh, yeah, we have some experience here. Wow, look at these guys. Two men left in the unit, but look at the experience. This is insane. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, inflicted 22 casualties. I don't know if we will be able to retrain them. Swordsman did great, though. Look at that. 200, over 200 men each, which is fantastic. So let's have a look. Okay, let's see if they can ransom them. I, would, I could really use the money. No, unfortunately not. Right, that is okay. Ah, oh, look at this beautiful icon, uh, model, sorry. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay, guys, let's see if we can retrain anybody, can we? Eh, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of, not really. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, I paid for my uh, bravery, so to speak. Um, one of our um, family members died. And now we have a new heir. Let me see the family tree, what it actually looks like. Yeah. And we have further uh, another one that is product of this marriage. How old is his wife? Ah, okay, so they done basically producing kids. So we'll see what's going to happen. I hope that our family is not gonna die. Right, what's happening? Propensity to glory, okay. Uh, okay, yes. New trip, new trip. I get. I guess it's a new uh, ancillary or a trait or one of those things. I think they mean by that. English translation, guys, is not great, by the way. Uh, yeah. So okay. So this is it, guys. This is uh, episode one of the Byzantine or Eastern Roman Restoration campaign. Hopefully, it will be successful. I'm going to wait again for these settlements in Epirus and in Trapezus here to rebel. I'm going to ask these guys to commit, uh, you know, uh, suicides essentially, <laughs> and then. We will try and recapture this area and hopefully restore the Byzantine Empire. Thanks for stopping by and I shall see you in the next one.